So four days ago, our cow had a stillborn Jersey calf and we've been searching. We finally found a new calf to try to graft onto her. So some of the methods we've used first, obviously having them isolate in their own small stall so we can get to the cow when we need to, especially a new heifer who is not trained. She's still a little bit wild. So we've got a lot of work to do with her, but we got a Holstein calf here successfully nursing right now. This is day four. Um, some of the tricks that we've had in trying to get the cow grafted on is first of all, we tied up the mom cow just so that she couldn't move. We used the cow can't kick bar, which pretty much demobilizes her back legs where she can stand, but she can't move around too much. That was huge. That made it so that the cow can actually latch on and it's not going to get kicked off continually by the mom. So we did that for the first day. We continued that on in the second day. We also tried to make the calf appear to the mom to be her own calf. So what we did is we took some of the colostrum from milking her, rubbed it all over the cow. We got some molasses, we rubbed it all over the cow, put some grain on that so it would stick to the fur of the calf. Um, if you were to have some of the afterbirth, that would be another thing too. You could rub it all over the calf and that would make a big difference. Unfortunately, we did not but going with the colostrum, doing the grain on the molasses, those are things that really made a big difference. And I think really sped up the process where she would actually accept the calf quicker. Having them in a stall together also helped quite a bit because they were able to kind of force bonding. It took about four days and after four days, Violet finally accepted him and was mooing at him and he was happy and nursing. So hopefully these tips help you and you're able to graft a calf onto your cow if that's something that you need to do. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos.